India and Finland have signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation in the Field of Production Procurement Research and Development of Defence-Related Equipment and Industrial Cooperation. The cooperation between Finnish companies and Indian defence public sector undertakings could be explored under this Memorandum of Understanding. The Congress has accused the Modi government of tweaking procurement rules in favour of Adani defence, and the Congress has also alleged that the Modi government has overruled the suggestions made by the Empowered Committee for the 45,000 crore rupees P-75I submarine project. An Empowered Committee of the Navy had recently rejected the bid by Adani defence, because the company was not found to be eligible, but by overruling the Empowered Committee. The Modi government has allowed Adani Defence to take part in the bid. According to latest media reports, the Indian Navy will procure only eight mine countermeasure vessels, instead of the original plan for 12 vessels, and is planning to cut down the acquisition of CAM of 31 early warning helicopters from 10 helicopters to only 6, and 6 PA time maritime reconnaissance aircraft instead of the initial plan for 10 aircraft. The Indian Navy was allocated only 41,259 crore rupees, against the projected amount of 64,307 crore rupees, which is not even adequate to continue annual payments for the previous acquisition contracts. The Indian Defence Minister would inaugurate the induction ceremony of Su-30 Fighter Squadron at the Thanjava Air Force Station on 20 January, making it the second frontline fighter squadron of the Indian Air Force to be based in South India. The newly resurrected 222 squadron would be operationalized with BrahMos equipped Su-30, that will provide a big boost to anti-ship capability. After restricting import of palm oil from Malaysia, the Modi government is also working to restrict the import of microprocessors from Malaysia, and will also establish a new quality control order for import of telecom equipments. The government is also planning to take concrete measures against Turkey, and might cut oil and steel imports for interfering in internal issues of India.